I had Danny run a check on all missing persons last seen within a 200-mile radius of Dudley. In the last 50 years, 87 people have disappeared near here. And judging from the forensic evidence, I'd say the same person or persons was responsible. It may have been the work of some kind of a cult. Scully, I think that the good people of Dudley have been eating more than just chicken. You think these people were eaten? Look at these bones. They've been polished at both ends, suggesting they were boiled in a pot. Anthropologists have used similar evidence to prove cannibalism among the Anasazi tribe of New Mexico. Well, then Paula Gray may have contracted Kreutzfeldiaka by eating George Kearns. And that could begin to explain her youthful appearance. What are you talking about? Some cannibalistic rituals are enacted with the belief that they can prolong life. Cannibalism is one thing, but increasing longevity by eating human flesh. Well, think about it, Scully. From vampirism to Catholicism, whether literally or symbolically, the reward for eating flesh is eternal life. I don't claim to know how it works, but we both saw Paula Gray. We never confirmed the date of birth on her personnel phone. Name the records of the courthouse and tell us how old she really is, and if anybody else in Dudley is lying about their age. You coming?